Hello everyone, this is Chris from BewegenderArchitektur.com today with another tutorial and it's going to be about a tool that has been developed during the last few weeks. It's called Phenotype and Phenotype is uh, aiming to provide three functions in Blender 3D. First of all, the idea is to make finite elements method available in Blender, especially for the design uh, progress of uh, art and uh, architectural projects uh, and the second uh, idea is the second idea is that uh, phenotype is also able to analyze uh, kinematic structures so the idea is uh, to see when an, a structure is uh, moving uh, where uh, there are weak points and how to 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 avoid them how to optimize the structures and the third part of phenotype is the idea to have genetic mutation of architectural structures via a genetic uh, algorithm from geeks for uh, geeks you will find the link in the description also uh, special thanks to uh, the developer of pi Knight. Um, this is a uh, um, the library the python library that phenotype is uh, using in order to make this finite element uh, analysis and also special thanks to Carl Dykes from Technical University for uh, the discussions and uh, his great support. Uh, so in the video info you will find a link to the GitHub uh, repository. Uh, if you click you can scroll down to the uh, bottom of the page and you will find a link to current release from yesterday <coughs> called Phenotype. Just uh, click to the file and click to download in order to download a zip file to your downloads uh, folder. In the next step we're going to open up uh, Blender and as usually you can go to the Edit, Preferences, Add-ons tab and you will go to Install, scroll to your Blender uh, sorry to your downloads folder and select phenotype.zip and click install add-on. So if you have done so, Phenotype uh, is going to show up in your preferences uh, tab. You can check uh, the add-on and close the tab. So now you can open up the uh, properties uh, menu and you will find Phenotype as a tool in the properties menu. So there is also a shortcut uh, with uh, key N. So first of all we're going to make a very simple uh, analysis of a truss. So let's delete lamp and camera, um, select the cube object, we are going to add a modifier uh, of type array and we are just copying this uh, cube for multiple times in order to get some kind of beam structure. Um, very important thing to notice here, we're going to enable merge in order to um, uh, merge the overlapping um, vertices in, in this uh, uh, structure. So maybe let's uh, disable it and see the effect when we're going to apply this modifier without merge, then all these uh, vertices um, are at the same point but they are not overlapping so let's go back uh, to the modifier tab let's enable merge let's go to apply and then we can see that all these vertices are uh, uh, all these edges are connected together so very important thing to uh, be aware of the structure that you want to analyze needs to be a mesh structure and it needs to be connected so no uh, yeah, that's quite obvious, right? So uh, the, the structure should be, it should be one uh, connected uh, mesh structure. In the next step, we're going to set a structure um, uh, in order to make Phenotype recognize this uh, cube as its working uh, object. In the next step, we're going to select four uh, vertices on the uh, uh, in the mesh in order to define a support. 
So we can see forward, this is already defined as support. And in the next step, we can simply click single frame in order to create our first structural analysis here in uh, Blender. Please check out the next video um, in order to see how we're going to make a first simple animation in Phenotype. Thank you very much.